Hey there friends, my name is Glorious and today I'm going to be showing you how to get infinite caps, XP, and resources in Fallout 4. Now, first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to one of your settlements. Go to a one that has a lot of open area. Uh, you can either choose Spectacle Island, or a really good one is this one right here, Starlight Dr Drive-In. Because it's a large open area. But anyway, what you want to do is go ahead and go to it, open up the workshop. And for caps, which I know most of y'all probably came to this video for, you want to go ahead and open up the building tab, go to the tab right here that says stores, go to any of these, it really doesn't matter, I'm going to go to trader, go to the max one you can build, or you could go to the first one, it really doesn't matter, just the better it is, the more caps you'll get, and you want to build one. Now what you want to do is push square and circle at the same time, or on Xbox it is X and B and now when you do this you want to hold down B or circle on your remote so I'm on PlayStation right now so I'm going to push square and hold circle and you want to make sure you hold circle or hold B or else this won't work and what this will do is if you get it right it'll open up this menu which will ask if you want to scrap it and if you want to store it and if you're still holding down circle which you should be you can push X or A to confirm the scrap and then confirm the store. Now what this will do is show that you still have one stored in your workshop, but yet you still got caps in it. So you see I have 18,000 caps right now. If I keep doing this, push square and hold down circle. And I keep doing this. I'm at 19,000 right now. And oh, if this pops up, just let go of circle or let go of B. Do not confirm it if it's not both menus open there we go and you see now I'm at 20,000 caps already so I got 2,000 caps within like 30 seconds right there really good way to get caps now for XP what you want to do is you can build anything you want what I'm going to be building is statues and I'm going to be building these statues because they only cost 10 copper and they give you the most XP. Now in order to get this blueprint to get the baseball man, you can find a blueprint for it over at the... What is it? At Saugus Ironworks. This will be in the final room where the uh, raider boss is in the power armor. It will be on a little table behind him. Picture on the screen right now to show you. Okay, so now that you have that, you can really do this with anything, but statues are the best, like I said already. Now you can just go ahead and start building these through here like this. As you can see, I already leveled up once. And if I just keep on going, I should just keep on leveling up. You see how fast I'm leveling up? Note that I'm at least level 50 right now, so it's not like I'm level 1 or 2. I'm going to get a lot of XP right here. Excuse me, Sibla. I'm going to try to level up one more time before I go into the next part about resources. Okay, so as you can see, leveled up twice within, you know, 30 seconds once again. Now, for the last thing, resources, which you're going to need for, you can guess, both of these glitches. What you want to do is if you get 10 copper and you need more copper, go ahead and build yourself a little baseball man statue. Like what we did with the store caps glitch, push um, scrap and store at the same time, which is square and circle, or X and B. Remember to hold down um, B or circle on your remote until both menus pop up like that. And what it will do is give me two copper yet I lose nothing because it stores the baseball man so I know this is just two copper at a time right now but if you open up one of these bigger statues like a fountain once you get 20 copper you can you can do the same glitch right here and you'll get five copper per turn then once you get enough of that you can go ahead and go to your workshop wherever this is. Let me oh yeah, it's over here, sorry. 
and what you can do is drop the actual junk item like you can drop all your copper and duplicate it which this really goes quickly because it squares it pretty much every time or it doubles it not squares it so if you have 10 it goes to 20 then 40 then 80 then 160 it's really quick so as you can see where's my copper okay it says I have 19 copper here if I store all my junk let's see how much I have now still 19 anyway I'm going to take out the 19 come over here go to my junk tab in my inventory drop all 19 copper then open up the workshop if I can open it up there we go push scrap and store at the same time and as you can see I can scrap all 19 copper and then also store the 19 copper now that we go here we can go ahead and go to copper and I have 38 now if I do this again what should I have I should have what 76 I think so I drop this open up my menu scrap store at the same time boom boom and as you can see now I have 76 so thank you all for watching if you enjoyed please subscribe and like really do appreciate it I will be posting more videos like Easter eggs and different games and this game all kinds of games so thank you all for watching stay safe